Hello my friends, in this video I will answer in the question Can someone install a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in the Pentium 4 PC? And the answer is no. Next question. Why cannot I play today's games on this PC? I have not tried to play today's games on this computer, but I don't think to run today's games on Pentium 4. It needs modern hardware. This computer is too old. Next question. Why I cannot play last year or older games in this computer? I have not tried to play last year or older games on this computer because these games are using specific software and hardware. For example, before installing a game, you will need to read the requirement it has for running. You will notice that it's about the same generation. If you select components from any time in a random operation system, the game simply will not run. Next question. Why do you do that? The reason is economical. I would like to work with a Blender. Blender is a free 3D creation software. To run the Blender normally needs a computer worth about uh, 500 euros. I bought this card for about 170 euros knowing that the blender gives you the option to render a picture based on a graphic card the performance is not the same as a 500 euro computer but it works The graphic card, the old graphic card to try to install, this is NVIDIA and the model is the CGNX G786VDD. What, what problems you expect uh, to face someone if 
try to install this card in all computer. First, the old motherboard has PCI Express. Maybe the old motherboard has capacitors or other components to avoid the installation of the card. Maybe the card cannot fit to an old case PC. Maybe you have not data flow at all in the old PCI slot. Maybe your operation system cannot recognize the card. Maybe the watts of your power supply is not enough or is not steady for this card. Maybe your power your jack of your power supply is not suitable for this card. And now I want to describe the hardware or of this PC. The processor of the PC is an Intel Pentium 4 3.2 GHz. This is a 2004 model. The socket for this processor is the LGA775, also known as Socket T. The motherboard is the ASUS and the model is P5ND2-SLI. As I say, uh, can support the LGA socket 775 of the Pentium 4 CPU. He can support 64 bit CPU support. He has SLI technology. SLI is if you want to put in the PC say two same graphic cards. I don't know if it can support two same GTX cards. Uh, also, it has a dual channel DDR2 and it's fanless design. The RAM is a single RAM of type of DDR2. The size is 2 GB and the frequency is 400 MHz. The power supply who I use in this computer is a handle at is an ATX power supply in 500 and 50 watts. The operation system is a uh, Windows 7. When you have 
cables inside the case of your PC the cables must be tight because if the cables are uh, random in the PC box inside the PC box the airflow inside the PC is not is, is will not working and you have problems Now I will connect my PC with my monitor. If you want to connect the HDMI output with an old VGA monitor or projector, you must buy an HDMI to VGA adapter to transfer the signal. In my case, I must transfer this signal in the old monitor ASO L350. The last reason 
that you should not put this card on an old computer is the resolution of the image. If you see the high resolution image and compare this image of the same card in low resolution image, you will understand that the idea is wrong.